Hello and welcome. Now in this first video what we're going to do is we're going to download our video from the various sites where you might have actually shot it. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into YouTube and you're going to want to go to your creator studio here. And then you want to go to your video manager. Once you do that what you're going to do is find the video that you want to download. You're going to click this right hand arrow and then you're just going to click download mp4 video. You're going to download that direct to your hard drive. And then you'll just want to put it someplace where you know it's going to be. Now you may be doing your videos or your webinars on Facebook Live. So we want to be able to do it from there also. So let's now go to Facebook. You want to find a video that you have already shot and done a training or webinar on. And once you find the video where you've shot live, you want to click on the date. That's going to expand it out to a bigger size. You're then going to go to this space where you see those three dots. You're going to see a link there that says download video. Go ahead and click download video. And then you want to rename it for your hard drive. Now if you shoot video to an iPhone, you're going to want to go to your iCloud drive and then you want to go to the photos area in order to download that video. Okay, once you find the video that you want to download, all you need to do is to go to this cloud up there, click that down arrow and then that's going to bring this file onto your hard drive. Now what you may notice is that if you download a video from Apple, that video is probably going to show an MOV file. Now in some cases, you will not be able to use that kind of video inside of your video editing software. And in most cases, all you'll really need to do is to change the designation of this video to MP4. in order for it to work. Now it's going to tell you if you change a file extension your file might become unusable, you might want to change it. In order to use Camtasia and some of the other Windows based programs this is going to always happen so you want to make sure that you do this before you import that video into your video editing software. Okay so with that thanks and I will see you in the next video.